I was honestly a bit disappointed in myself, kind of thing. The the last thing I want to do is kind of hurt someone's feelings. I, <laughs> he made a connection with the three of us. I was a little bit disappointed at that point mm -hmm. because I did have some kind of feelings for him. Welcome back to another episode of Reality. And you know, right now I'm talking about the reality TV show that I'm watching religiously that is too hot to handle on Netflix. And right now I'm joined by Flavia and Creed, everybody. Hey. How's it going? Hey guys. <laughs> I'm loving the outfits. I'm loving the attires. Talk oh. me through this fashion before we talk about <laughs> anything else. Well, my style is very Y2K Flow 2000. And mm. I put a lot of effort in this outfit. So thank you. Mm. I love it. Right now, you know, I'm this going. is like quite like a like a this preppy one. boy type. Like, well, that's uh, I feel like that's the perfect word mm. to describe it. <laughs> yeah. A bit of preppy boy. I get I get cricket player preppy. quite really? a lot. Really, you know? so, I like it. Cricket player energy. That's the that, that's the vibe. A golf, you know. Yeah. Do you play golf? You know, I've 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 had a few attempts at golf, but it's not Didn't for work me. Out. I'm a footballer, not a golf player. Wow! And obviously, it's a brand new year. Happy 2023, everybody! Oh, happy new year to everyone. How does it feel? Like, have you guys got any like New Year's resolutions? Anything that you want to do this year? Anything? Um, planned? I want to. Try Anything you want to give up? Lot. Actually, yeah. I mean. Life's been pretty hectic this yeah. past month, the final uh, what month of 2022. Yeah. So it's been a lot to handle. Yeah, <laughs> too, too hard to handle, honestly. <laughs> but 2023 is shaping up to be a beautiful year. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I mean, there's so much on offer. It's gonna be bright for us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you guys have been in London for is it the last couple of weeks or so? Like you've been hanging around with the cast members. Yeah. I've seen all the Instagram stories. Yeah. What have you been up to? Because I feel like every single day you lot are doing something different. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's been so exciting. Having having everyone here has been honestly unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the first time we're all together was what a year ago now. A year yeah. ago, we wanted to, to uh, gather together the whole cast for the launch. Yeah. So like. The, uh, the fans can like watch the show and also yeah. watch us now in real life. And it is literally, I'm like, oh my gosh, what are they doing today? Like, what <laughs> have you got? You've gone partying, haven't you? And then you've gone out for like to eat and stuff. And then you, some people are staying with some people. Like, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, we've all kind of got our little group because finding a house for what twelve have, of us oh, is a yeah. bit difficult. That would be in amazing London. if you could do that and then film it. Oh no, for we, us, all, for we the fans. already did it. A part two. <laughs> we already did it, sharing like a room for twelve or fourteen people. It was a mess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So a house would be like no, no, no way. We have like a girl's house and a boy's house. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty much it. But we all get along like a house yeah. on fire. So. Mm. If someone's got a 12 room house out there, hit us up because we will take hit it. Hit them up. <laughs> now, I know you came in the show a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, it's hard. But, but Wild Love. Wild Love. This show that was pitched to you. Yeah. You, you had no clue you were going to be on Too Hot to Handle, where you can't kiss and can't have sex. Well, you can if you want to, but you're losing out on the prize money. Yeah. So, how did you feel, number one, knowing you were going on Wild Love? In the mean, beginning. Wild love. What a concept, by the way, that was pitched to us. Mm. High adrenaline dates. That sounds like a dream. Yeah. Too hot to handle as well. I hadn't really thought about it. I've seen it around. I haven't really watched it at all. So mm. it's not something I was super familiar with. Yeah. So that transition from wild love to too hot to handle spun me quite it's a It's like lot. the opposite, isn't it? Oh, way different. Yeah. But I mean, what an experience. What an eye-opening experience. Met amazing people, had one of the best times of my life, so. Yeah, and Flavia, Crazy. did you get to watch the show beforehand? Like when they were in yeah. there, were you watching them? And I have stuff? to say it was a huge fan of Too Hot To Handle. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't know I was going on that show. I thought it was Wild Love too, but I was like, I almost crying, you know, <laughs> like, what is this? Like, mm -hmm. it's insane, like a dream come true. Yeah. Yeah, wow. it, was, it was so exciting. But were you crying because you were excited or crying because you weren't going to kiss and have sex? <laughs> Both. <And> which one? <laughs> Both. Both. You were like, damn it. I thought I was going to have the wildest time ever with the hottest people on earth. Wow. And then, yeah, like we, we couldn't do anything. <laughs> well, you still met some of the hottest people on earth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Creed, from the get-go, mm -hmm. I think it was, it, was, it was Kayla in the beginning, wasn't it, who you yeah. had your eyes on? I mean, Kayla... What a stunning girl. She is stunning. I mean, when yeah. she walked onto the beach, all eyes on her. <laughs> Honestly. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then everyone kind of started, you know, everything on the first day is initial attraction. Mm. So everyone's like, all right, I want them. After a few days, you kind of have chats with everyone, mm. figure out everyone's mentality. 
who they are, where they come from, what they're about. Yeah. And that's when you kind of pair up with different yeah, people. But. Of course. And for you, it was kind of, it was Sophie, wasn't it? Sophie. Yeah, was Sophie. The first one. So let's just talk about the first one. I'm glad you said that because <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. glad you said that. But like, what attracted you to Sophie in the beginning? Let's talk about the start of this. Yeah, so obviously Sophie's such a beautiful person. She is, she's stunning. Caught my eye straight away. But Ooh. what really drew me to Sophie was those conversations we had. I mean... You have to remember as well, like, we're filmed 24-7, so a lot of the content that's filmed, we don't... Don't see everything. You don't see everything. So Sophie and I had a lot of deep and meaningful conversations. We kind of talked about our family life, our upbringing, and that was kind of what attracted me to her at the beginning. And I was like, yeah, Sophie's an unreal woman. I want to get to know her. Yeah. And then you came Madam in. Madam walks in. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> you joined the show. Obviously, you took... You took um, Seb on a date. Yeah, yeah, I picked Seb for yes. my first date. And you were like, you were like a little devil for him. I know. Because, <laughs> yeah, you were, because he was obviously set in stone with Kayla. And he was this, cl- he said that, you know, he said to you, you are my type. He was this close to kissing you. Yeah, I know, but. Um, but you wanted him to. <laughs> oh, I had a, a free keys. <laughs> yeah, and I knew you had the free keys. I was going to go into too hot to handle, so I needed to, like, take advantage of the mm. free keys. <laughs> But um, I didn't know what was like. What was I going to, like to go through in the house? Like, like I didn't know um, what to expect yeah. in the house. So I was Fun. very nervous. Mm. I remember like I went with very confident mm. and I went for what, what I wanted. Mm-hmm. But at the end, like we all had the same opportunity. You know, the only thing is that I arrived late. Yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously, when you and Seb walked back into the villa, like you were holding hands. Yeah, and big that, mistake, Seb. Why was that a big mistake? <laughs> but did you feel like, did you, in your mind, did you feel like I want to steal Seb from Kayla? Uh, I, w- I wouldn't do that to anyone, actually. Mm. That's not who I am. I would never steal a man from like a, a girl. Mm. Uh, that's what I had the chat with but, that, but that's what you have to do. I guess that, that's what that's the <laughs> job, isn't it? When you're thrown at that point, I, you've yeah. got to steal the man. To be fair, hard. it's a difficult position it coming was, in. It as is, a it name, is. Because you're not everyone's friend yeah. on yeah. that first day. But so. that's the assignment of a bombshell though. Like yeah. your job is to come in and cause the drama. I know it falls back, but that's the assignment. It takes a certain time. It does, it, it does. I'll, I'll be honest, I could have never been a grenade. <laughs> it, it must be, it must no have been hard to do. It was so hard and I didn't want to harm anyone or, or cause like disturbs but i had to so yeah she did her job to yeah. say the least. you, so you did it but look like event obviously seb kayla back together but eventually you two started to talk and yeah. you two talking wasn't just you know that there's sophie on the line over there so even though you felt bad about kayla babe you're still doing the same thing but with sophie over there <laughs> so because how did... i had my top two seven creep yeah so yeah yeah Seb was like in a relationship i had to give it a try or a go with creed yeah so yeah i had and to do what i had to do yeah you you did what you had they to do. they were not like boyfriend and girlfriend yeah. you know we were just like starting to meet each other and, yeah. and date it's a dating show yeah. Yeah. yeah now you obviously said creed that you know like you and sophie were having all these deep and yeah. meaningful conversations <laughs> and everything um, which is true. And literally, yeah, which is, yeah, which is true. And then, you yeah. know, Flavia was in there for about a day or whatever. And you're like, right, head's turned. Yeah. <gasps> what happened? I mean, yeah, it happened pretty quick, didn't it? Very quick. I thought <laughs> but, you said you had deep and meaningful conversations yeah, and you cared for her. You kind of have to remember that in the conversation with Sophie, um, I did state I felt more of a friendship vibe with really? her. Really? Yeah. See, did you make that clear? <laughs> um, probably not as <laughs> well as I could have done. <laughs> but I mean... Yeah, it is what it is at the end of the day. Everyone mm. kind of has different opinions yeah. on things. Um, I probably would have done things a bit differently if I knew that that was the situation and that's where her head was at. How would you have done it differently? Probably would have, you know, done things a bit slower. Mm. Um, probably been a bit more considerate. Yeah. But it is what it is. We kind of had different, you know, perspectives on the situations. You also have to remember that Sophie and I only knew each other for a couple of days at that point. Yeah. The thing is, one day there is like. <laughs> Obviously, real I can cool. imagine. Yeah. It's so intense. Emotions we have no, yeah. run high in there. Yeah. 
And I know, yeah, exactly, I know you say a couple of days, but still, you know, if you're spending like day after the hour upon hour yeah. of that person, they're obviously gonna like develop some sort of an emotional attachment towards you. Yeah. Now, we could obviously see that Sophie was really emotional. Yeah. Um, how was it for you? Like, was it tense in there? Obviously we only yeah. saw an hour, but was it really awkward in there between you two? I wouldn't say awkward was the word. Um, I was honestly a bit disappointed in myself kind mm. of thing. The the last thing I want to do is kind of hurt someone's feelings. So yeah. to see how distraught she was was pretty crushing to me. And mm. Flavia can probably attest that once I jumped yeah. ship, I wasn't really myself for a day or two. Yeah. I, I really? That, yeah, he was like off, feeling off. Yeah. Uh, Did you feel quite bad? Felt bad? Oh, I felt terrible. I mean, just seeing how things kind of went down there. I didn't feel like I could really give my full self to Flavia at that mm. point in time as well. I kind I of wanted to. That. Yeah, I wanted to be respectful of Sophie's feelings, so I kind yeah. of kept everything at arm's length initially and then yeah but obviously oh, yeah. before you actually did sit sophie down by the mm -hmm. way and say to her look i think yeah. we should just be friends because you want to pursue things with yeah with... And so you were quite honest in in that part well that's the thing i thought that was the most genuine and right thing to do at that point in time yeah <laughs> it's definitely caused a bit of a stir 50 50 there mm. some people uh yeah sitting her down was the right thing the other 50 percent say yeah what are you doing but no, I think it's the best thing you did. Yeah. You were like, you said the truth. Yeah. What you felt. Yeah. And then, yeah so. But, you know, Sophie also went on a date with Ethan and, mm -hmm. and Sophie didn't kiss Ethan because yeah. of you. So she was yeah. actually, yes, Flavio, that's. <laughs> I saw yeah. It. I saw and it's it like, the did you not feel like, damn, like she was proper being loyal? Or did you just yeah. feel like, you know what, it is what it is. I only see you as a friend. Yeah. I mean, in there. What's the goal is to find the meaningful yeah. connection. You know, you want that fairy tale ending. You want to go balls to the wall for the person mm -hmm. that you really fancy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, so you kind of have to jump at opportunities where you see a chance at that romantic connection. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Flavia and I had some unreal conversations. Mm -hmm. One thing that really stuck with me, she's got a tattoo that says self-made. Oh, yeah. Wow, and that, that, that is boss. I yeah, I, I saw that. That when, is vibes. I saw that when she walked in and I was like, you know what? That speaks volumes yeah. to me. So when you two finally started to settle and talk to, I think it felt like at one point, you know, this is a very stable bond. Yeah. You were getting to know each other yeah. all fine. Is that how you guys felt in that moment when you'd moved on from Sophie? She's over it now. And you two were getting to know each other. Did it just feel quite steady for that period? Uh, it was stable, yeah, for... Yeah. Like a couple, a couple of days, of days. Yeah. <laughs> after the other grenade came in. Yeah, yeah a couple of but days. It, but it, it was nice though. Like yeah. yeah, for those few days, I could really give all my attention to Flavia. It was yeah. honestly amazing. Mm. I'll be honest though, it was a bit difficult because like Sophie was there the entire time. Oh, yeah. Flavia and I getting to know each other. So, you know, I could kind of feel the eyes burning in the back of my head while giving her my attention. But... And how was it between you and Sophie? Uh, actually got the conversation uh, with her about mm. this and she was just like fine. She said like if Creed picks you mm. instead of me, like uh, he's losing, like he's, he's, he's lost, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I, I have a great, a great relationship. relationship with her. Yeah. yeah, Sophie was honestly very respectful She was very Flavia. nice with me. That's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Imogen came in. Yeah. Oh. Dear, dear, dear. Now we're well, heating here. things up, aren't yeah. we? Here we Imogen go. Imogen came in and I'm like, guys, oh, Creed, how many <laughs> times do we need to go down the Mate. same road? Flava, you must have been like, not again. This is not happening to yeah. me. Uh, yeah, it was very, <laughs> very, um, how do you say? Surprised. No, yeah, surprised about that. Cause, Cause you probably thought I am the last destination. There is uh -huh. no way in yeah. hell. I said like, he's. there's no way he's jumping ship again. <laughs> like I really trust him. <laughs> But hmm. you know what? It it was such a surreal, surreal like yeah. experience. Yeah, I think. He... Why was it surreal for you? So um, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm Australian, right? Mm. Born and raised in Australia. I left Australia at 14 years old. Yeah. Boxed that part of my life. I lived in South Africa, the United States. Yeah. Now in London for a bit. So I kind of forgot about that Australian side of my life. Mm. And this was the first interaction I've had with an Australian in what, 10 years almost. Wow, yeah. So it really unraveled and a lot of, uh, you know, childhood memories kind of mm. bringing things to the surface. Like Imogen would sing Australian nursery rhymes with me. She would tell me about the Australian snacks and things. My head was gone. 
Yeah, yeah was he was gone. confused. Yeah. I will use that word. Mm -hmm. And Flavia, do you think that's a good enough excuse? Uh, I mean, mm, he was confused. Like, I, I mm. can't judge him, you know? Like, yeah. probably if I am in his situation, I would have done the same. Mm. I think people have to remember that it goes a lot deeper than dating and relationships. Yeah. I mean, it's upbringing, you know? That's like a childhood memory that's like sits with you in here. So when Imogen's kind of talking to me about that, I'm like, oh my God, what is going on here? Yeah, because when, like, when you walked back in, did you say that she is literally like the female version yeah. of me or something like that? Oh, that hurt. That hurt, you did it. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Copped a bit of heat for that. I didn't think it was that bad, but when I got the response <laughs> I did, I was like, we have different perspectives. Do you know here, what, like... Creed? I hear you. So obviously, you said that you know, right? It's it's when it comes to upbringing and whatever. But three people. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, okay, if it's the first one, fine. Yeah, but you yeah. did it again. You did it again. And then when all the girls were asking you to be like, all right, cool. Like, so who is it going to be? And you're like, yeah. I'm going to tell Imogen yeah. that it's not that. And Imogen, I'm going to tell Flavia that it's yeah. not that. And you were going, and I was like, wow, it's like a ping pong ball. Like, this is not stopping. Mm. It was going back and forth oh, and back yeah. and forth and back and forth. Ping I was pong. like, dude. My head was spinning in. <laughs> I, he made a connection with the three of us. Yeah. I think that, that is <laughs> a very, sure. very like. Yeah, the, the thing you have to remember to say. though is like, the connections were so different. I mean, the one Flavia and <laughs> I have, like, like, <laughs> like Flavia is from oh. South America, yeah. right? Different connection so there. You like them all for different reasons. I was getting pulled in every direction, going, "What's wow. going on?" Imogen was pretty relentless as well, which was like, "Uh oh." <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> so, would you say at that point, were you just not not ready to settle down at that point? Was that what it was? And you just wanted um, to have, you wanted to enjoy the experience because I honestly just didn't want to ignore feelings. Mm. Um, we were always being preached there, like you know, go for the meaningful connection. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't and have and enough time. were meaningful yeah, to you. Yeah, so I didn't really know exactly <laughs> what was going on. And then my head was gone at that point. Yeah, it was yeah. even hard because he has never had a girlfriend before. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, so it's like... New for him. So you're quite used to just situationship yeah. there, situationship there, situationship yeah. there. So it's quite like you're used to it, basically. Oh, yeah. It was... It was <laughs> I can't even put, like... Into words. <laughs> into words, what I was feeling. My I mean, it was, was hilarious like, to watch. I'll give you that. It was yeah. really, really funny. I mean, if it makes good TV, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. But, and um, obviously, you, <laughs> Lana just said, look, you need to go yeah. at one point. She literally yeah. kicked you. <laughs> and he was surprised. Were you surprised? <laughs> I mean, wow. yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you can really prepare yourself <laughs> for the shock of Lana, but... <laughs> You know what? There, I wasn't. Ex oh I was, I was pretty surprised, but there was a part of me that goes, "This is the right decision. <laughs> this has to be answered on the outside world." Yeah. Well, that was a huge surprise for me. Well, you, I didn't you were surprised. That. Uh, seeing. I didn't like, know it was in a love triangle until now. Like yeah. that, that I saw the episode. And how did you? Oh, so you didn't oh. know until. <laughs> Not until the end. So when no you one told me. So when you found out it was a love triangle, how did you feel? Ah, uh, when he was kicked out of the show. Yeah. yeah. And how did you feel when you found out about the love triangle? Um, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed at that point mm, mm. because I did have some kind of feelings for him, but now I feel like uh, grateful that I ha still have like, a connection with Creed, and it's like a not yeah. a romantic connection, yeah, but a yeah, friendship, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and Creed, I want to ask because uh -huh. I, I just have to. Was it with these people, these connections? Do you feel like they were romantic connections, Creed, or were they like lust connections? Because sometimes yeah. that can happen. It's very possible. Like you know, when you find someone so attractive and you're like, yeah. oh my gosh. Sometimes, and especially, I guess, in a scenario like that where you exactly. can't kiss, you can't have sex, everything's like bubbling up. Yeah. Do you feel like there were some people who you you were maybe like, all right, maybe this person. Looking back now, it was yeah. just lust. Uh, I, I, I don't think so, honestly. Like, <laughs> so you I, feel like at the time you basically loved three people. I like, would, I, no, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. But um, obviously, like all the girls are so stunning. Yeah. So the, it's just the, hard the to attraction's choose. there, but at yeah. the end of the day, it goes down to like the personality. That's what really hooks you, and yeah, that was kind of. Yeah, the girls' personalities are all amazing as well. Yeah. They all come from different parts of the globe, different stories. Yeah. 
you and were just having a good time. You were just enjoying. You know your life what? Someone it had is. to shake it up. Yeah, and, and you did. Yeah, <laughs> and you did. I think we have to remember that it's a TV show. People yeah. need to enjoy it. Yeah, you're right. I think we did for that reason like, as well. So like. Did you guys ever rekindle? Did you ever speak after the show and like have a conversation? Yeah, many times. Oh like, yeah, FaceTime. yeah. I, we met. I met her family. Oh my parents. Time. Wow. Yeah, they invited him to Peru. Um, wow. Yeah, we're really like good friends. Yeah, I can honestly say today, like we're extremely close. Having her in yeah. London has been one of the most amazing things. Wow. Oh. Like honestly, this woman is unbelievable, and I <laughs> so like. You can really see what someone's about on the outside world. When you're in the retreat, you can only see what they're like in that yeah. retreat, you know? It's a bubble. But on the outside world, that's when you really see people's true colours, what they're about. And mm. I can honestly say one of the most amazing woman, women that I've ever oh. come across. And I can say like he has a really like, warm heart and he's so kind. Wow. Like, really well, guys, who true. knows? You know, you know, in the future, maybe you guys could rekindle in that way. It happens, you know, some people become friends and then they grow to, to like each other in that manner. It's very possible. Greg got his chance. So, um, yeah. I like him more like in a friendship way. Mm. Right yeah. now, everything between us is so good. Yeah, we're like, like brothers now. Like and sister, sister brother. brother and sister. Oh, yeah. Sister but, um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but brother like, th things between us is so good right now, I don't mm. think... Throwing that romantic spanner yeah. in the works is even worth it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? So can we talk? How strict was Lana? Were you able oh. to get away with anything, like anything at all? He was. She was a sneaky, sneaky little cone. Really? She was oh, everywhere. She was everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Oh, in the toilet, you're sitting there going, I don't know if I can squeeze one out right now. She's got eyes on me. I'm nervous. Re what you mean? Every who? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're all. Yeah. We're when all you go human, to aren't we? But yeah, yeah. Everything. Everything. <laughs> She's Would got you... eyes everywhere. In it the showers, at... in the toilets. She can even see through blankets. Yeah. Can she? Yeah. Yes. Stop there, it. There, there's Night no vision. hiding under a blanket. Stop. <laughs> so Lana can see through the sheets. Exactly. How she does it, I will never know. That's but hats secret. off to Maybe you, Maybe like Lana. UV lights or, or one of those things that look, that can look Maybe through. Maybe like the heat or something. I don't know. If it's wow. the heat, then she'd be seeing a lot because it gets hot <laughs> under the covers. Yes. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So it's a brand new year. What are your plans? How are you feeling? Kick us off, love you. Oh, I'm feeling amazing. I just uh, got an award from the People's Choice Awards. Ooh, congratulations! Yes, it's the best Latin influencer. So that's wow. a huge thing for me. It's like a dream come true. Also, I'm uh, launching music and acting. Amazing. I'm doing like content for my social media. So you're taking the world of Hollywood and social media yeah. by storm. <laughs> yes. Wow. She can do it all. You can do it all. <laughs> uh, for myself. So I run a business, a tech company called yeah. VersaWare. So growing and scaling, that's the, the goal. But also that self-development journey, that mm. never stops going. Yeah. You know, I kind of <laughs> had quite a big year of that. Getting kicked out of the retreat was a bit of a wake up call. Yeah. So kind of focusing on, you know, strengthening relationships, kind of becoming a better person so that I can give the best part of me to the future romantic connection that I yeah. fall in love with. And you're so, young as well. So, you know, you're allowed young. to make mistakes and, yeah. and you can grow from it. Exactly. I mean, at the moment, the only way is up, you know, so yeah. <laughs> to, to bigger and better things in 2023. Amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me on the show. Woo, 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 woo. Appreciate it. Coming up next week on Reality, Nick tells his side of the story after his split from Jawa here. Um, but that was like the tip that started it. That was the yeah. snowball going down the hill at the very peak. But yeah, I, I knew at that point we had to have a talk. I don't want to say I closed down at that point, but I was like in a very uncomfortable position. All that and more on Reality out next Friday.